Hi, Dr. Watson here, and uh, this video we're going to show you how to add titles and transitions in iMovie. have a lot of interest in working with um, video and music uh, recently, and this is a good starting place to create um, a video for which um, you're going to eventually either edit your own music or create, compose, arrange your own music. So first let's just uh, launch iMovie. I'm using iMovie 10. Uh, it may not be the version you're using, but they're all pretty similar. And then I'm going to go to the file menu and say um, that we want to create uh, a new event. So have to find that there. I'm down here. Um, new event. And then the new event just has the date. I could give it a, I could actually type in a name. I'll just leave it as the date. Um, and then I could either hit the create button here or I could go to file new movie. And I'm going to just choose no theme because I'm trying to keep this really basic um, and say create, give my movie, um, let's call it um, adding titles, sorry, titles and transitions. And say OK. All right, so now I have to import media um, into this project. So I have. Um, an opening sequence that I've already created. I'm going to drag that into this little media area here. And I've also got a scene uh, downloaded from the internet, a little kung fu scene. I'm going to put that in here. So the idea is I want to load what I want of these clips into um, this work area down here. This is actually the bottom down here is where the actual uh, movie is going to be. Um, there's a couple different ways. Um, if you see that plus sign there, if I hit the plus sign, it'll add the movie at the point where the playhead is. Um, you can also go back to the beginning, get that plus sign there. If you hit just plus, notice it drops it right in. That's kind of cool. Um, just to show you another way, I'm going to delete that and just select all of um, both clips. I just hit uh, Command A, or I could, or I could literally drag and drop, or you know, drag my cursor around that and just drop everything in and it'll it'll add them like that too. Now I can decide to zoom in or zoom out. So I'll, I'll zoom out a little bit. Alright, so one way or the other, you gotta get your clips from here. Well, you gotta get your clips from outside of iMovie here and then drag them down here. Alright, now um, let's put the titles in first. So over here there is um, all the different tools you can use. I'm gonna click on titles and I'm gonna just choose the first one here, a standard title, and just drag and drop it at the um, let's say right after the opening um, and then if you don't have an opening you would you would all you need is your opening title but I have a little um, Watson Productions thing you'll see in a minute that I added there okay so what are we gonna call um, the, the, the title of this let's say um, uh, Bruce Lee in action is gonna be the the title of my thing um, you have some other spots here you could you could put you know down here a Watson production or um, up here um, you know from Watson Studios or you could put nothing right we can delete it um, so that's that's the opening title now notice that when I'm selecting this title area down here up at the top I have um, a bar of tools if I hit I for information I can change the duration of the title right now the default I think is four seconds but you can change that duration there's a whole bunch of adjustments you can either hide or show here I'm just like how how big your title is uh, the font size and so forth so for, for the most part I'm not going to be go, going into all those different details today um, in this video I just want to see the general uh, big picture of it so um, going to leave that like that. And then at the end I want to put a, um, a title that's going to say the end. So I'm going to just show you just one other one. There's all these you can choose from but just say you decide to use um, this one here. I'm going to drag this to the very end and make this one say the end. Okay. So that's, that's my title at the end of the film. Now I want to put some transitions for instance to get from my opening Watson production clip um, to my title, I'm going to put a transition. Mostly I just use cross dissolve, but there again, there's other other things you can use. I'm going to drag that in here, and if you don't like the um, the length of the dissolve, you can double click here and change that and say apply it. 
if you want a longer cross dissolve. I'm going to put that one here, put a cross, to, actually let's do a, um, let's try cross zoom and see what that would, would look like. All right, and yeah, that's pretty cool. So maybe keep that. Um, also, if this clip, you know, is very long, you might want to just shorten it. We can, we can decide to only use a certain portion of the the movie that you really want. So you, you decide that ahead of time. You screen and just say, oh, right when this happens, that's where I want it to end. And you just drag this to the, be the right length that you want. Um, to get into our closing title, let's do another um, cross dissolve. And here at the end, um, let's fade to black. That's another uh, transition you can choose. So now I'm gonna go back to the beginning and, and screen the whole thing. There's my opening music. And then here's our first cross dissolve into the, the title. And then another cross dissolve into the scene. And just for the sake of time, I'm gonna fast forward here and we'll watch um, another cross dissolve into the uh, closing title, the end, and then a fade to black. All right, so once you have everything the way you want it, uh, then you would go up to um, the uh, share a file menu share and I just use the defaults in general it says theater so choose that um, it's actually uh, creating the movie for me right now now remember the project we called adding titles and transitions I could have called it Bruce Lee in action um, and then I can drag and drop this out of my desktop um, and I have it now uh, you can also share it some other ways if you are um, interested in any of these these ways. File is what I just did, though it's a shortcut by just dragging and dropping it. So now, out of my desktop, I have an MP4 that when I open it up in QuickTime, you can see all the things that we just did. Right there's my openings clip. Here's the cross dissolve. There's the movie starting up, and then fast forward to the end. And here's the, the title, and then the fade to black. 